I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing how we can go from rectilinear form into polar form using our calculator. So for example, let's say we're given the point Z. Now Z is represented by minus root two minus root two I. So we know that it would occur right there on our argand diagram. So to convert it in our calculator from rectilinear into polar, we'll just press shift and then pole down here. So what that brings up is our polar input form. So to do this now, all we need to do is make sure that we input our x coordinate first, then we'll separate that from the y coordinate with that comma there, so shift parentheses. And again, we'll input now our y coordinate, which again is minus square root two. So then making sure we close off those parentheses there, and now we press equals. And what that gives us now is the modulus and the argument. So in other words, what that means now is that the distance from that point Z to the origin is two, and the angle there is going to be 135. So now we have that, now let's write this in polar form. So to do that, all we need to do is write down Z equals, so we start with the modulus, so two, then it's E, so that we'll start with I pi, so we don't forget, and now minus 135 over 180, well, that's just going to give us, so I'll put that minus out the front, and then it will be three quarters. And that's how we can convert from rectilinear form into polar form with our calculators. So just as an added bonus as well, if we don't want to write it with degrees, what we can do is we can change it by the setup into degrees, radians, or gradients. So if I want to change it now to radians, all I do is select that, press equals, and there we go. So now our argument is in radians. And one thing to note as well is that the domain for the argument is from minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees. And there we are.